everyone, Yasmin here, hope you're all well. So as you all know, Halloween is just around the corner. So I've made this small hanging decoration, which I think will look perfect hanging outside your front door for them trick or treaters. Here's how I made it. So start off with your piece of material, then begin to fold over the edges. So this should measure as 26.5 centimetres to 35 centimetres. Once you've done that, just begin to pin in place. So once you've pinned everywhere, you then want to stitch around. I've already done mine, just so I can show you. So you stitch around here, all the way down, and all the way down to the corner. Make sure you leave a gap because this is where you're going to put the wooden pole through. For the lettering you then want to cut out three different colours, four of each colour. So what I've done is cut out a square piece of grey material and a square piece of bond web and I'm just going to iron this on top. So the word I want to create on the front of my make is trick or treat. So I'm going to start by cutting my pieces out. So once you've cut all your pieces out, you then want to begin to iron them on. So with the bonder web, you're just going to peel back, place down, and then with a spare piece of fabric, you're just going to place that on top, and then iron down. And you repeat this for all the letters. So once you've done your letters, you then want to move on to making your three pom-poms. And you're just going to place your ball there. It could be a bit fiddly to start off with. And then just wrap around like so. You then are going to repeat this on the other side. So doing the same as I did before, just wrapping around. So once you get to the end like this, you're going to snip the wool and then carefully tuck underneath. Then with the two sides, you're going to bring them together and then clip them into place. Once you've done that, you're just going to grab your scissors and then cut down the centre. And then the same for the other side. You're then just going to cut a piece of wool and then put around the pom pom like so. And you're just going to tie a knot. This is so all the wool is secure and it creates your pom pom. And you do the same on the other side. Just tie the knot like so. And then what you're going to do now is take this off. 
It's going to look really messy, so then you're just going to grab your scissors again and then just trim all the excess pieces off. So then you're going to end up with three pom-poms that look like this. So with your needle and thread, you're just going to go through the pom-pom. And you're going to go through it again. And then you're going to start to sew it through. So if I grab the end like this and then poke the needle, secure my pom-pom. And then do the same on the other side. So I'm going to go through and then through the pom pom again and back through the other side. And then just going to secure it at the back and do a little knot. Then with my scissors, I'm just going to snip. You do this for all three pom-poms. Once you've sewn your pom-poms on, they should look something like this. So as a last finishing touch, I'm then just going to put the wooden pole through. So I've actually bought this pole plain and I've just painted it a dark grey to match the letter in. So once you've put your pole through, you then want to glue your ribbon down. So I'll show you what I've done now. I'm just going to grab the ribbon. You want it to be about, I'd say about there. You're just going to grab your scissors and then with your glue gun you're just going to pop some glue down. And then you're going to wrap it around. Just pop some more glue down again. With your tool, just gently put some pressure down onto it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to visit our website which is sizzix.co.uk where you'll find more videos just like this.